one to improve some skills. I don't know how if the course is helping you. I think that I need practice more. One hour is a liter, a few times. I can imagine. It's, it's not the same talking to anybody, uh, um, talking with someone in your work. It's, even if they are, I mean, they talk English for life. Yeah, it's, it's not the same. <laughs> I think the teacher already connected. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine. No, I'm just listening. You're right. It, you know, <laughs> uh, always is practice and to try with more people. Yeah. We should make a WhatsApp group. There is a WhatsApp group. <laughs> Another WhatsApp group. Uh huh. Yes. The problem is that is to be honest, the people say they want to, but they don't want to. It's, yeah. it's like it's like going to the gym. They pay for the membership, but they don't do the exercise. You're yeah. right. No, I already know. I have. Thousands of students, and always I hear the same. Ah, we should have a talk. Hey, let's get together, practice in English. Two days, three days, and no, I don't have time. I, I have work. I, I put on silent the, the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really hard to be um, uh, disciplined. Oh, disciplined. Or... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say it. Constante. Yes, constant or really just to be active. To be active mm -hmm. in. Yeah, because in when you're emotional or exciting with some idea, well, I just I just was uh, very interested in in studying some design programs. Something I even. Um, I even um hi. Descargado el programa. Yeah, uh, but then nah, no, I, I'll do it in in any other time. I don't have time now, and yeah, I am. I really identify. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. I mean, this is it. Really, is hard and. You have to make sacrifices to do one thing or decide to do the other. So I understand, but you know, it's, if you want to, you if, if if that is your goal or if that's what you want to do, you have to make the sacrifice to work. Or you never practice, you never will be will improve your spoken skills. Yeah. So that's why it's good that you guys come to class because imagine it's Friday, it's Friday night, eight o'clock. And a lot of people are at the bars or, or out with their friends or even at home, just watching Netflix, relaxing. And you, Friday night here, studying English. <laughs> yeah. I congratulate you. I had you. plans for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I congratulate you because really it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to sacrifice every day and to do one hour, one hour, and it's, if not, look at the gym. The people always go, one, only one hour, one hour, but they, they don't yeah. have the time. Mm -hmm. So It's been a challenge. Uh, uh, it's, for me, it's been a challenge to, to be constant, to be disciplined, to advance in the platform and all that, because I love learning English, but I... I don't have the like the added to to dedicate time and and making an extra to the to extra do. mile. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you need to be really me. Um, 
the good thing about technology is you can work, you can study online at home when you have the time. The difficult part is to be disciplined. Because yes, you have the option, but because you have the option, you have the excuse. Ah, I do it later. Ah, I watch the videos. So really, this is the, I think this is the biggest decision is mentally. But yeah, I, it is important, at least for me, because I'm good writing, but I need to improve my spoken skills. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad everybody's here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I see that we have several people, so that's good. And yesterday we were going to finish up unit two. Uh, we started it off, and sorry, we left off with the idea for imperatives, okay? So before we begin, and do you have any questions about yesterday or on Monday or Tuesday, unit one or two, uh, the activity or the exercises up to now? No. no, I think everything is clear. Good evening, yes. good evening. Good evening, Javier. I have a news. Tell me, tell me. I can see my level in the platform, and I I work in my the the last uh, homework activities. Hey, that's excellent. They fixed it, huh? Yes, yes, fix it. Yeah, perfect. So now, thank you for Monday. Then you have unit one and two complete. Okay. Mm -hmm. Almost, almost complete. Oh wow! You work yeah. a lot then. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any questions before we start today? Okay, great. We're gonna be looking at today our instructions or directions. We give instructions or directions, and usually they are called imperatives. Imperatives start with the rule. Like think about imperative like your mom. Your mom doesn't ask you to do something your mom tells you to do something. <laughs> that is the idea of imperatives. Is that okay? Imperatives is- uh, a, That's a mandatory same, request. No. Imperatives is the same in Spanish. The yes, it is. With a strong uh, voice. Correct. It's like, it's just like in Spanish. It's where okay. you- person what to do okay so for example a uh, the the person doesn't ask you uh, i don't ask uh, for example i don't ask javier javier would you like to speak in english no it's an imperative javier speak in english this is the idea of the imperative you begin with the verb and you tell the instructions so let's watch the video and see if we have a better understanding. Okay. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we... Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. 
check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb which means it's an imperative make sure moving forward to our infinitive to study so when we put an imperative with an infinitive together we can come up with a great suggestion we will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions be sure make sure don't forget remember try let's make examples using these expressions be sure to practice with your friends make sure to use a dictionary don't forget to think in english remember to do your english homework try to pronounce properly now read these suggestions be sure to speak in your native language make sure to forget your dictionary don't forget to stay quiet in class remember to translate into your native language try to mispronounce the words you will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an english student therefore we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions so the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive now it is your turn ready to come up with examples of your own try it and write them on our discussion box okay i think it's pretty easy to understand because here is very clear we understand that we can use positive or negative but only because it's correct grammatically doesn't mean that it's a good idea right so for example if you say make sure to forget your dictionary mm, it's not a good so is make sure not to forget your dictionary or remember to translate into your native language oh that's not good the idea is remember not to translate remember to speak in english these are the ideas that you want to have okay so what we're going to do is with our partners we're going to use these expressions be sure make sure don't forget remember and try and we're going to give each other suggestions on what to do these are the imperatives what are the things that you should do if you want to be better if you want to be better in english if you want to be better in your job if you want to be a better student so any of those three you can use so if i want to be a better student what do you tell me if i want to be a, a more fluent English speaker, what do you tell me? That's what we're going to do with our partner. We're gonna practice those things. If you don't have your computer, it's okay because I already put into the WhatsApp group so that you can practice also in the WhatsApp group. They are there if you want to see them. It's okay. Okay, teacher. It's okay. okay. So as an example, be sure to give examples and details for your answers. Okay. Something like that, right? Not only be sure to practice. No, you want to give long sentences, ask questions, give details. Gabby, it's okay? Okay. Hello, everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. 
When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with the verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay, so if you are watching this video at home, that is the idea. In the groups, people are practicing, but right now, the important is that we understand. We begin with a verb, and then we give the command. So I say remember, and then the command with the infinitive. So remember to practice your English. Remember to write your sentences. Remember to study the things. In order to make sure it's correct, here are your examples on 2.9. Okay, how do we feel? Pretty good? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Let's try and make sure that it's clear. Now we go on to the next part, 2.9, and we're going to work together this. If you have your computer, you can do the exercises with us at home. If you're on your cell phone, also 2.9 is the one. Here we need to suggest, or we need to select, what are we talking about? Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Where would you read this? This would be talking about what? An alarm system, a cell phone, or a laptop computer? Uh, a laptop computer. Okay, let's try the other. Good. Let's try the next one. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Alarm system. An alarm system, okay. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Cell phone, maybe. Okay, to turn it off, okay. 
We try, don't worry. What's try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Alarm system. Alarm system or laptop computer? Laptop computer. Laptop Alarm. computer. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Okay. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Alarm, Alarm system. Alarm system. Alarm system. Yeah. Okay. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Uh, cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. okay. And be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. Cell phone. Okay. Let's see how we did. We did pretty good, but we had one mistake. If we can see here, it says, remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm system. An alarm system, because when you enter in the house, it be <coughs> beep, 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 beep. So uh, a timer. Yes, like a little timer, correct. So if you are at home or if you are in the cell phone, these are the correct answers in order to complete it. Are there any questions? Um, remember to turn it off. I had some doubts about the six. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die, because it says batteries in plur in plural. So um, in first try, I had I had this mistake. And what did you think it was, the, the laptop? Yes, because, um, I don't know, the cell phone has a battery, but, but I know, I thought that it, that could be alarm system. I don't have an alarm system and I don't know how it works, but, but, but like the, Exercise says batteries and cell phone and laptop just have one. I thought that it was a alarm system. That's a good observation. You're right. Normally you could use just one. Um, now, in reality, now all cell phones only have one battery. Before the cell phones used to have replaceable batteries. They used to have two or three batteries. For example, you could take the phone you remove it and put the other battery and you would charge the one battery and have the other one. So only you take, boom, put the other and that's it. But now the phones do not have this. Okay, that's why uh, I... Uh, do you remember those cell phones? They're old. They're old cell phones. Do you remember those? No? No, at all. <laughs> okay. No. It was my, I remember it was my sir, my first cell phone, my sir, my first cell phone, you open and then have an antenna pull out and you could change the battery because mm. the battery is the one that has the, the problem. My first phone was a Nokia Lamparita, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And your Blake Snake. Yes. <laughs> But it's a good observation, Gabriela. I will make it because yes, it's now really it's only one battery that the laptops and that the cell phones have. Um, normally the laptop batteries have uh, small batteries inside the, the battery. For the, clock. For the clock to maintain the clock and the function. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Probably, uh, sorry, sorry, probably the low battery of my cells is uh, more stressed <laughs> than my laptop. Probably, right? Because the laptop is, maybe we use it completely. The cell phone we, we are using, ah, charge, and you charge and you continue to use. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, 
the next part is a reading exercise. So here, let me share with you. Okay. Can you see? Yes. 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 Okay. This is how they imagine a day in the life in the year 2020. Okay. We have to, with your partner, you are going to read and with your partner, you make the decision. Which heading do you use? That means which topic is the paragraph? Is it about communicating, about shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around or working? So here you're going to read with your partner and select the topic for this paragraph. You're going to read and select the topic for this one. And here, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, the same six topics. Is that okay? Okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. I'm only going to take a picture and send to the WhatsApp just in case someone needs it because sometimes we need to have it. So in our groups, we are going to read and we have to make the decision, what is the thing about? What is the main topic? If you do not know any words, it's important to look them up or ask me when we come back, okay? So let's take a few moments and let's go. Hello, Brenda. Brenda, we are reading in the groups. I put in WhatsApp.
Okay, welcome back everyone. Let's take a look and see if we have the correct answer. Maria, can you please read the first paragraph? You are on mute. Excuse me, what did you do? What did you say? Maria, can you please read this first paragraph? Okay, okay. People used to know more or less how their children would live. Now, would live. Would live, excuse me, would live. Now, things are changing so quickly that we don't even, don't even know what our own lives will lives. be like. In lives, okay. Lives, oh, it's different, okay. Mm -hmm. Life will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. Excellent, Maria. Very good. Now, everybody listen. This one, live. Live. This is a verb. This is the verb, live. live. It's lives. Lives. It is a noun. It's a, an action. It's a noun. It's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Rafa, can you please read the second paragraph? Okay. You're dream dreaming behind the wheel of your car. But that's okay. You have you have it on an automatic pilot, and with its high tech computers, your car knows how to get you home safely. Okay, thank you very much. Good. And let me see. We have process there. I don't see the names, but give me a second. There we go. Okay. Claudia, Claudia, can you read number three? Oops. Yes, teacher. I don't know what happened. Okay. You, you have for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer and an hour ago. And they've been delivered, the delivery, you paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatic, automatically the the you Deducted from the doctor from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Okay. All right. Javier, can you read the next one, please? Okay. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get um, a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. Okay, good, very good, thank you. Brenda, can you read the next paragraph? After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office where you had everything you need to do your work. You never had to commute to work anymore. Okay, very good. Henry, please read the next one. Your information, okay, your information screen say that you have arrived a message from, you received? you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese, Portuguese into English. Your co-worker face appears on the screen and the translations appears at the bottom. Great. And Rafa, Rafael, can you please read the last one? Sure. You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of the new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. Okay, very good. It's Netflix. <laughs> it's Netflix, yes. Now it exists. Now, now it exists like Netflix or Disney Plus, huh? <laughs> Disney Plus, HBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there any words you don't know pronunciation or the meaning?
I I I need um I need no pronunciation automatically 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 correct automatically it's difficult it's difficult words <laughs> yes yeah automatically because it, it has many syllables Automa automatically any other words um it's not a word but i don't understand uh what they mean when uh, in the first paragraph well the second i mean says you're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car what does it mean it means you are dreaming, but you are awake, not sleeping. Okay, that that I understand that, but behind the wheel of your car, this is what I, I don't understand. Okay, when you drive, uh, uh, Claudia, do you drive? Yes, it Okay, so when Claudia drives, she grabs the wheel. So you are behind the wheel but you are daydreaming. Oh, so the wheel, the wheel, I thought the wheel were the, um, I was confused, the wheel, so is the timon. Correct, the, the, oh. correct name, the correct name is steering wheel, but the common name is wheel. Behind the wheel is similar at the, the back of the driver, no, the, the behind the wheel is the idea, the driver. The driver okay. seat. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I had another, but I don't find it. Um, commute uh, in the one, two, three, four, in the fifth um, paragraph says uh you never have to commute to work anymore what is commute commute is go by transportation for example when you go to work do you commute by car by bus by motorcycle when you go to your job when you go to school this is commute the form of transportation mm, so it could be the same if you said you never have to transport to work anymore. It's the no, same. No, you can say you never have to, uh, for example, you never have to drive to work. Um, mm -hmm. so or you never have to. It's mm -hmm. the way you get to the place. Correct. By driving, by taking the bus, by walking. By train, by exactly. This is commute. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? No, we're, it's okay. Then let's try to answer the questions. Okay. Number one, do you need to pay attention while driving? False. 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 Because it's autopilot. Yes. That's right. Magic. It's an autopilot. Okay. Do you pay for your groceries when they arrive? False. False. True. Or false. 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 Okay. The pay before arrive. They arrive. People don't use cash anymore. True. 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 You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. False. False. Do you need to go to the office every day? False. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like a pandemic, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you and your coworkers have to speak the same language? False. 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 
when you get a message, you see the sender's face. It's true. 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 Hey, like what's up? <laughs> FaceTime. And mm -hmm. you go to a video store to rent movies. It's false. 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 Excellent job, guys. That's good. That means very good comprehension. Excellent comprehension for the listening. We wreck. Sorry. I have, I have a question, Mr. Yes. Uh, say that the question say, uh, or the, the phrase, um, you can see the sender's face. Mm -hmm. um, what's the meaning sender's? Ah, the per the when you have WhatsApp and you send me the message, you are the sender. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I stand. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words or questions? I'm from my side. No, we're good. I think it's all good. Okay. Now with our partners, we're going to prepare a small explanation with what do you think is going to be the future. How do you imagine is the future? Okay. Here we have many examples of different futures for different things, for vehicles, for transportation, for education, for food, for different ideas. I want you and your partners to create a small presentation of how do you see the future? Imagine the future, not in five years. Not in six years. Imagine the future in 20 years, 50 years. How okay. is going to be the situation for your for your children, for your grandchildren? What is going to be the life? Are you, it's okay. This is speaking, and we come back and we present. Gabby, you okay? Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about... Hey, Anna. 
You came. I'm going to put you into the group. So Anana, you're going to go to the group and practice talking about the future. What do you imagine is going to be the future? Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. All right, are we ready to present our ideas? Our, yes. All right, Henry, you <laughs> and your partner. Henry, yes. who was your partner? Uh, my partner is Maria Moran. Okay, so Henry and Maria, the first ones, hey. Okay, uh, the fears, the fears uh, in a near future, we will use Bitcoin to pay uh, <laughs> <laughs> to pay in, in a shopping or in a in a mall to pay the that that we need the, the need mm -hmm. or we will pay the bills with Bitcoin and, and other things. We will use Shiva wallet in in our <laughs> cell phones. That's the, 
Okay, okay. It's true, it's true. In one week or in 10 days, uh huh. Yes. Ten days. In ten, ten days. In September 7th? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go and use my, my chivo for minutas and choripanes. <laughs> supposedly, supposedly <laughs> if you if you use uh, chivo the first time, uh, you will receive uh, thirty thirty yeah. dollars in in Bitcoin. To... <laughs> I go to Super Selectos, Johnny Walker for free. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's a commercial. Uh huh. Maria, what other information did you and Henry discuss? Okay, and at the finish of the conversation, we we was uh, talking about the weather because is I am worried because um, I think in the future we we won't have um, water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we won't have oh many trees. Um, the the weather was um, the weather won't be no will be will be hard. I I don't know will be hot. Global warming. Yes, <laughs> but. About that, we, we, we talked. Okay. okay, all right, good, Maria, good. Thank you very much. Very good, Henry and Maria, good job. All right. Okay. Claudia, who was your partner? Javier and Ana. Okay, Javier, Ana, and Claudia. What ideas do you have for the future? Mm. We think that we'll be will be many robots doing everything for us, and it could be maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, more people will change uh, the way of thinking about organic food. Uh, because we all, everybody wants to eat more healthy. Healthier? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else, Javier Ana? What else did, what else did you discuss? Uh, I, um, if the government uh, invite me and uh, the possibility the the travel of the Mars, I will go <laughs> wow. and build a and build a human city in the Mars. Okay, all right. To go, so maybe in the future people go to Mars. <laughs> okay, Anna. Any other ideas for the future? Yes, teacher. Uh, for example, uh, I, I agree with my classmate because uh, it's necessary to uh, change the education for the eat because it is it's better for the body. Um, uh, and, and my family uh, uh, prefer uh, organic food. Because uh, 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 no have a uh, fertilizant, free free uh, free fertilizant, fertilizer, um, fertilizer. Excuse me, teacher. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, my Claudia and Javier are we. Anna, I, or, or I don't know, I, I lost Anna, or do you hear Anna? No. No, 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 no Anna, we don't hear you. Okay. 
the internet. Yeah. Maybe it's the internet. Yes, we don't hear you, Anna. No volume. In the future, the internet is uh, will be free. <laughs> Oh, yes. free. Oh, okay. free and internet for all. Free. Yes, for all. Now? Now, yes. Okay. Uh, 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 I say, we say it's necessary to change uh, uh, the education for the uh, uh, it's better organic uh, than a food, than a uh, uh, fast food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that. All right. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good, Claudia and Javier. Nice job. Brenda, who was your partner? Carla. Okay. And what did you and Carla say? What idea do you have? Okay. Okay, in the future in El Salvador, the people use trade as automatical and they access the information, the people by the chip in the body. A chip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so learn English by the chip and then English. <laughs> Cyber, cyberpunk. <laughs> okay, all right. Carla, what else? Okay, maybe Carla has some technical issues also. No problem, it's okay. Good job, Brenda, good job. All right. Rafael, who was your partner? Me. Okay. Elsie. Elsie. Okay. All right, Elsie and Rafa, what did you think about the future? Okay, uh, we discussed uh, that maybe for us it will be a uh, future technology, but in other technological countries, uh, Japan, for example, is there everyday life? Uh, for example, the students using tablets instead of notebooks. Uh, to take notes to study uh, in the school or doctors using nanobots to cure illnesses as uh, cancer and tumors, robots doing our homework uh, and normal duties uh, like mopping, washing the dishes, bacon, and the transportation to move the place to place. That's all. Wow, nice, nice. What else, Elsie? What else? Well, um, Rafael, make a... Go, Elsie, go, Elsie, go, go, go. <laughs> Rafa said everything. <laughs> yeah, yes, okay. he said everything. But okay. um, I, I told Rafa about um, a series I watch in Netflix and it's Grey's Anatomy. And uh, I saw a medical treatment uh, for example, uh, they have a 3D imaging for the brain. And, and, and I said, this is amazing, no? Because uh, we have better, better treatment for our health, no? And also the education. I think the, the, the schools maybe uh, will teach three languages uh, to the children, no? Since the, the um, maternal, maybe. Hey, nice. Maybe that way it's easier to communicate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and Gabby and Mirna, what? I, or no. Okay. Uh, my partner was Mirna, yeah. And we were talking that all, um, a lot of procedures, maybe, or will be um, managed at, at internet or will be virtual. Even traveling could be easier because you could uh, like ask for your passport or make um, 
documents asked by by the internet. So you don't need to go to our office to get a document or to or to get your passport or something like that. And also about transportation, we were talking with Mirna that because of the contamination, uh, maybe we will have another another way to transportation, right, Mirna? Okay, guys. Well, great, Gabby and Mirna. Great ideas that you have. Right now, we're going to pause because it's time to us to go home, relax, for you guys to remember to complete Unit 1 and Unit 2 in the websites, in the platform. Complete. Remember, complete it. Unit 1 and Unit 2. On Monday, we checked it is complete, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, All right, guys. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you for bye. coming. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.